Welcome back to Oshkosh today. Thanks again for joining us. We've taken a little field trip out here to the UW Oshkosh Alumni Welcome and Conference Center, and we're going to talk about a really cool organization as well as some events that are coming up right here. So I have Patty Warmanhoven here to tell us all about Junior Achievement. So Patty, first off, thanks so much for joining us out here today. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate the opportunity to talk about Junior Achievement. Of course. Um, we actually are an international organization uh, and here in the Winnebago region, which includes Oshkosh and Fond du Lac, as well as our northern part of our region, which is Appleton, Nina, Menasha. So you cover a lot of area. We do, <laughs> and, uh, and we provide a lot of great economic education for students in grades kindergarten through 12th grade. Mm -hmm. um, all of our programs include hands-on activities that are led by volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, we reached uh, to over 20,000 students in our Winnebago region, so we're really very proud of that. Uh, we couldn't do it without our volunteers, uh, so we appreciate those volunteers as well. Yes, definitely. So you guys have been very busy over the past few years. Um, we're here to talk a little bit more specifically about an event that you have coming up taking place right here uh, in this building. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. First off, when is it? It's November the 12th. Um, okay. We actually are inviting our high school age girls to come uh, we're kicking off in a new initiative that is really geared towards educating high school girls to consider entrepreneurship and also to consider non-traditional occupations for women. Uh, so at that event, which is kicking off that initiative, we're going to have Mary Burke come to speak to the students and women in general about how important confidence is and in, in, in starting a business and even for high school girls uh, when they consider running for a class office, officer position or even applying for a job. Uh, our other speaker for that event is Lisa Maurer. Uh, Lisa Maurer is the current CEO for Rickert Industries. Uh, she has been very, very successful in a very male-dominated male -dominated industry. Mm -hmm. So we're happy to have her as a role model to talk to students in Oshkosh. Well, what a cool event uh, for those role models to come and talk to, to young women about that because it really is an issue that is, you know, as you're coming into the workforce, you don't even realize that you're facing. Uh, so it's really cool that they have that, that opportunity to hear some success stories from real-life women. Absolutely, and, and that whole concept of non-traditional occupations we have, you know, a lot of uh, girls that c could be and should be interested in some areas that are going to be high demand. Uh, so this is a great opportunity to think about automotive technology, uh, engineering. So some of those non-traditional occupations are in high demand. And if we look at the new businesses that are going to be starting, those are going to be in those high demand areas as well. Exactly. So why rule out women in those in those Ab awesome careers? Absolutely. Yes. Um, and you know the speaker, the panel speaker, it's not just that is the event. There's also um, a little bit of an event that goes on after the, the speakers. Yes, we're, we're looking for vendors that will be able to showcase uh, business ownership. So we're going to have some opportunities for attendees to shop uh, after the, the presentation, uh, which actually is after the parade. Uh, I, I believe we're going to have a holiday parade that yes. night. So, okay. so, you know, even if they can't come to hear our speakers, they certainly can come and, and shop. Wonderful. And, we, and if a vendor is interested, we would love to have vendors participate as well. Great. Uh, and where can vendors go if they're interested in participating to do that? They could contact the Junior Achievement Office okay. um, and that, you know, or give us a phone call at 920 882-0773. Wonderful. Um, and what's the registration? I know it's encouraged that people register um, yes. and then there's a little bit of a fee that's associated with that. Yes, adults are ten dollars um, and high school students are five. Uh, we're actually encouraging high school students to come with their mothers. It's a great opportunity to start conversations about careers. Um, we know that's a big buzzword. Everybody's thinking about what they're planning for their careers and what the, they want to be when they grow up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and what better place to do it than on the campus here at UWL. How cool. Well, I know there's probably a lot of people that are looking forward to that. Um, if they want more information on that event, where can they go? They could go to um, our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they can certainly give us a call. Wonderful. So November 12th, that event will be happening. There's also a, a week uh, shortly after that that we're looking forward to as well. Tell us about that. Yes, it's actually Junior Achievement Entrepreneurship Week. And uh, we are uh, looking to promote entrepreneurship in general. 
um, and provide some special activities in classrooms with that in mind. Very cool. So kind of just creating awareness in that aspect for the, the awareness week. Absolutely. And you know, once again, we're always looking for volunteers and obviously funding, so we would appreciate that as well. Wonderful. Well, lots to look forward to. A lot of great messages that you're putting out there with Junior Achievement. Uh, maybe once more you can recap those events for us, the dates, times. Cost. Sure. Um, November is, we're looking to promote entrepreneurship and we're going to be kicking off our new Junior Achievement, or JA Girls, as we call it. With the dollar uh, sign. With I the dollar sign. That. So creative. <laughs> and our event is Sweet Success, also with yes. the dollar signs. Um, and that will be on November the 12th at 4.30 in the afternoon here at the Welcome Center. Yes, so really looking forward to that. Uh, we'll be back out here on November 12th for sure. It's going to be a great event. Uh, okay. And thanks, Patty, so much for meeting us out here today and telling us all about it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs>